Good morning, Red Arrow, and happy Thursday. Let's see what's cooking in the kitchen for lunch today. Good morning, and welcome to Red Arrow. It is Thursday the 10th, and for lunch today, we will be having calzones, garden salad, cucumbers, and red pepper slices with dip. With pineapple tidbits and your choice of milk. Have a good day, Red Arrow. The most interesting man in the world. Action. Good morning. I normally don't read books about cats. But when I do, I love reading Splats the Cat. It is very interesting, especially when you get into the story about Splat the Cat. This commercial was paid for by the Super PAC for Splat the Cat. Please vote Splat the Cat for president. Thank you. <laughs> and we have one birthday to announce for today. Happy birthday to David Hyatt. Enjoy your birthday, David, and come on down to the office for your birthday pencil. Just a few announcements today. Uh, let's see. Report cards are going to go home tomorrow. Just a reminder for the grown-ups. And we have Girl Scouts today, Thursday after school. And today may be a little goofy. Just Again, this is a warning kind of for the grown-ups or a heads up. Um, we are short some guest teachers today, and so we'll be doing some filling in. And so just a heads up. If things seem a little goofy, they probably are. Um, so thank you for your cooperation and flexibility with that. Um, also tomorrow, and this one's for those kids who go to Kid Builders, um, Kid Builders will be closed tomorrow. So just help your grown-up to remember that if that's where you go after school. And so they can make sure they've made arrangements to have you either picked up or go home or however they're going to take care of that. Um, I think those are all of my announcements I've got written down. I want to say thank you to everybody for your help yesterday. Um, I checked a couple different times and everyone said, oh my goodness, school's running so smoothly and so calmly. So thank you. That means everyone helped out to do that because that's not just one person or one group of people. That's everybody working together. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, we learned a few things yesterday during teacher school. I have to tell you, though, I had the most fun when we got to pretend to be students, and I got to be a naughty student for a while, and that was really fun. Um, and Miss Martinez had to be my teacher for a while, and I don't think she liked having me as a student when I was naughty. Um, so it was a good time. Let's see. Um, also, oh, Veterans Day, sorry. Veterans Day is tomorrow. We have our luncheon from noon to 1245. And um, I see we have some people who've already called in to let us know we've got veterans coming in. If they don't come in, or they don't call and they want to come in anyway, they are welcome to do that. We're going to slide over here so I can answer the door. Um, just remember what I said yesterday. You cannot, uh, you'll have lunch at your normal time and then go back down to join your special veteran um, during um, their time. You'll have desserts with them. Sorry, my brain is all over. I'm greeting people as they come into the doors and trying to do announcements. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, um, stay tuned for this brief. Pete makes school fun a fun place to read. The library will be rocking when you vote for Pete. Pete thinks we're, per we're perfect just like these books. Okay, and I told you yesterday that there would be a um, debate coming up, and we have it ready to go. And so um, Ryan Heminski helped us out and asked the candidates a few important questions about why they want to be president of the library. Listen up. Pete, why do you want to be president of the library? I want to be president of the library because reading books is groovy. Splat, why do you want to be president of the library? I want to be president because I think I can make a difference. I can help kids love to read. Pete, what are your plans for your library? Friends, if I become president of the library, 
I intend on buying larger bean bags for our reading section. Splat, what are your plans for the library? I have lots of plans when I become president. Like, I want to help classes get into the library more often and take advantage of this space and all of these books and read when no other classes are in here. Something else I'd like to do as president is recognize all of the students who have made great accomplishments with AR. We have students that have already earned 80 points this year. It's time those students get recognized with a certificate and maybe even a brag tag. Personally delivered by me, Splat the Cat, your president. Pete, what makes you the best candidate? I think what makes me the best candidate is that I have awesome red sneakers and I know how to tie my shoes and I would love to help you tie your shoes. Black, what makes you the best candidate? We all know how cool Pete the Cat is, but being cool doesn't make you president. I'm the best candidate because of all of my life experiences. Just look at all the books about me. They tell you all of the things that I've had to do to become who I am. That makes me the best president for your library. Vote for me, Splat. What's your favorite color? My friends, my favorite color is blue, just like me. Splat, what is your favorite color? I've been told by doctors that I'm colorblind, but all of the colors that I can see, I love to snuggle up to my red blankie. So red's my favorite color. What's your favorite color? Pete, who is your favorite librarian? Well, friends, I have two favorite librarians. Of course, it's Miss Sumner's, but I saw the movie Ghostbusters the other day, and I love the librarian who could float in that library in New York City. Splat, who is your favorite librarian? The only librarian I have eyes for is Mrs. Sumner's. I even have a song because of how great she is. These are a few of my favorite things. Mrs. Sumner's reading books and playing library games. Those are a few of my favorite things. Vote for Splat. This has been the 2016 library election. Thank you all for coming. So there you go, a few more informational points to think about as you make your decisions. Splat for president of the library or Pete for president of the library. Only you get to decide. And results will be announced Friday afternoon. Keep voting and remember your vote counts. So with that, at this time, would you please stand for... From the Mrs. Seifold's class to help us with the pledge, we have... Ian and Alyssa. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with justice for all. <laughs> Thank you, Pledge Helpers. That was a great job. And everyone have a great day, learners.